For that, despite the lack of regard for COVID-19 guidelines in schools across the country, the Minister of Basic and Secondary Education told lawmakers in Banjul that her ministry is taking steps in making sure that the COVID-19 guidelines are adhered to in schools. Madam Claudiana Cole was responding to lawmakers during the question and answer sessions on the impact of COVID-19 on the education system and the steps that the ministry has or intends to take to ensure that students are protected from the virus. This is the Hasmo. The advent of COVID-19 pandemic has affected educational systems worldwide, leading to near total closure of schools. Most governments, including the Gambia, decided to temporarily close educational institutions in an attempt to cope the further spread of the virus. But despite the government's attempt to reduce infections in the country, most schools in the Gambia are no longer adhering to the WHO COVID-19 guidelines on the preventive measures. Appearing before parliamentarians on Wednesday, the Minister of Basic and Secondary Education, Claudia Nicole, said her ministry is doing everything possible in making sure that COVID-19 guidelines on social distancing are adhered to in schools. Honorable Speaker, I can tell you that we are regularly, regularly monitoring the COVID restrictions in our schools. And uh, we continue to provide the necessary PPEs that uh, the schools need to ensure that the children are safe. We monitor from the regional level, the cluster level perhaps, we start from the cluster level, we monitor from the regional level, and we monitor from uh, the national level as well. We are regularly monitoring to ensure that uh, the, the, the COVID uh, guidelines are respected and the PPEs are available in our schools. In the midst of lockdowns, Minister Cole added that her ministry was able to come up with models that schools will operate on to ensure continuity of learning. The ministry has developed models for reopening of schools to ensure continuity of learning in the midst of COVID-19. The models are tailored to suit the needs of the schools with a target of 200 days on the school calendar. However, it is important to note that the models are not a one-size-fits-all. Hence, based on simulations, only 23 schools were expected to alternate. Responding to the question on the new school timetable, the minister said they face challenges in adhering to school distancing due to the like population size in schools. This, she said, prompted them to strengthen the school days from Mondays to Saturdays to enable students to have equal contact hours. For the simulation was that we have, for all categories of schools, from lower to upper basic to senior secondary schools, we have schools that have small enrollments and schools that have large enrollments, irrespective of their categories. Some of our lower basic schools are quite large with populations of over 3,000. And uh, some of our senior schools and upper basics are equally large with that type of population. And uh, considering the social distancing that we needed to employ in our classrooms, where classrooms used to accommodate up to about 45 which is the teacher pupil ratio according to the education policy. The impact of COVID-19 on education worldwide has been devastating. UNESCO has reported that over 1.5 billion students had been affected due to the closure of schools in 165 countries, which is more than 85% of all registered students. And also over 63 million teachers and large number of education support personnel have been affected by the pandemic. Given these unprecedented developments, the COVID-19 has become an education crisis. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am, I am Daisy Singh.